What's up guys? Uh, I got an awesome little package in the mail here today. Uh, it's got a bunch of fun writing on it. This is going to be a, a definite adventure uh, to say the least. When you get a, uh, a package that says stop, read top of box before opening. I read instructions, don't worry. Uh, and then it says, Sean Neely, please, before you open this box, stop, get out your camera. That's uh, right there. Hello camera. Uh, film an unboxing video. This is an unboxing video. And uh, number three, enjoy. I will enjoy what's ever in here. So I cut the top of the box already and have not looked at anything. Uh, I just didn't want to have you guys sitting there on camera watching me almost slice my fingers off. Uh, so everything is, is, is ready to go here. Let's go ahead and uh, pop this baby open and, uh, and see what we got here. So, okay. We have a, uh, an envelope here. And it says, uh, stop, open this envelope uh, before proceeding. So, uh, let's uh, go ahead and tear, tear that off uh, so you can see what a torn envelope looks like. Uh, got a little note inside here. Let's see what it says. Insert thumb drive into laptop. Uh, so we have a thumb drive here. Uh, there we go, a little thumb drive. Uh, watch the video and continue filming the whole time. Uh, so let's go ahead and get this set up on the, on the laptop and you guys can watch me uh, watch this video that uh, is on this flash drive apparently. Oh, hey Sean. I'm sorry I didn't see you there. <laughs> How you doing? Well, I guess by now you've uh, received your box. I hope it's found you well. And uh, I just wanted to stop you before you opened it and let you know stop what's inside and why it was curated especially for you. Now, I know you're a hop lover, so uh, I know you love those big IPAs that was taken into consideration when I put this together. Um, but I also know you like stouts, and right, na right now up in uh, Michigan, it's stout season. So I wanted to make sure we got some good Michigan stouts in there for you as well. Heck yeah! Um, so without further ado, let's dive into the box and see what we got. We're going to start off with an this ultimate awesome. goodie, Bell's Too Hard to Ale. I know you've had this a thousand times. My favorite are just Whoa. good drinkable IPAs. So we put one of those in for you, down in Florida, good to drink. Next up, Bell's Kalamazoo Stout. Um, nothing uh, spectacular, just a good solid stout. Um, and it's from Bell's, so all the Michigan beers I Hell can yeah. down to you, I did. Next good up, old we got uh, Atwater Brewery, Vanilla Ooh. Jack Porter. Now this is, you know, one of my more go-to drinkable beers. I know you like this. Boom! So threw that one in there as God. well. Saga Tuck Brew, Continuum IPA. Ooh, Continuum. I think you had this with me once. Um, it's a Imperial IPA, 8.5%, uh, lots of hops, really good beer, one of my favorites. Nick, so I'm going to stop it right there. I did have one of these with you, and it was one of the best beers that I had had that I didn't find uh, since moving, and so this is an awesome, awesome treat. That's awesome. It's a lot of awesomes. All right. Couldn't go without giving you a pumpkin. Seeing as it's October, so uh, Ichabod Pumpkin Spice Ale. Ooh. Um, probably not my favorite pumpkin, but definitely my favorite Michigan pumpkin. So, wanted to get a Michigan pumpkin down to you. There we go, Ichabod. Next up. Uh, I love the Shorts label, too. Brewing Spruce Pilsner. This is a special one. This was really hard to get. It came out this summer, so it's not super fresh, but uh, I think you're going to love it. Most people do not like this beer. Ooh. It's kind of like eating a pine tree. Super spicy. Um, if you like gin and tonic, you would love this beer. Most people can't handle it, but I think it's going to be one of your faves. I'm excited to hear what you say. I'm excited for that one. Another Saga Talk. This is Neapolitan Cream Stout. Great cream, or er, milk stout. A great milk stout. Ooh. Super creamy. Um, just a good beer all around. Well, it is stout season, so the one that started off, really, for everybody here, Founders Breakfast Stout. Um, so this, it's funny because I'm always really kind of skeptical about, skeptical about milk stouts. Um, and I can't talk either, but uh, I'm excited because uh, I love a good recommendation for a milk stout because there's a lot of them out there that I don't love, so that's gonna be awesome. I'm in love and with I see that you're right getting now. into the I breakfast really stout. Love it. It's pretty easy to come by, so I put two in for you. Hell Maybe yeah! One you can have for breakfast, one you can have for uh, dinner. <laughs> now we're getting to the good stuff. God. Bells. This one goes to eleven. 
This just Ooh, you put one in there! Kind of limited edition. Nice! A friend of mine described it as a loud beer, and I would say... Pick I've heard a couple people talking about this uh, at some of the beer event type things that I've gone to, just different bars and stuff. Uh, and people say that they, you know, they haven't found this, they haven't had any, any in Florida, so this one goes to 11, ale is gonna, uh, be one of the first ones that I drink for sure. Um, so, that's incredible that you put one in there. Um, I was hoping there was gonna be about 24 of those, but beggars can't be choosers, right? Is off on that. It is, uh, big hops, big flavor, big alcohol, 11 percenter, great, great, huge beer. I can deal with that. This one will probably be the favorite for you in the bunch. Bell's the Oracle. This is a double IPA, 10%. Um, this thing is exploding with hops. Literally, you start drinking it, hops just explode in your mouth. <laughs> um, if you like IPAs, this is the beer to drink. I remember I you talking you. about this one. So that's why I put it in. So that's exciting. And 10%. Finally, we end Such with good the Bell's beer. You rock. The county brand stout. Not a Michigan beer. But a killer bourbon barrel aged beer um, by Goose Island. Yeah, so, so this, this one's 15%. Um, it was really tough to come by up here, but I got lucky. I got nice. my hands on quite a few, so I don't mind giving one to you. Uh, I don't know if you're into bourbon barrel aged beers, but I am. you need to be if you're not. So just get a snifter, pour this in, let it warm up a little bit, just sip on it at night. All the worries of the world just melt away. <laughs> so uh, They sure do. 15% alcohol. Beer. It was uh, curated especially for you, so I hope you enjoy it. If you happen to come across any of those beers down in Florida that I've been looking for, feel free to pass them by my way. I'll be happy to take care of them for you. <laughs> hope you enjoy it, buddy. Cheers. Awesome. Nick, I gotta thank you so much uh, for all these beers. Uh, so awesome. I've got a fridge full of, of stuff that's, that's good here. I'm looking forward to potentially filling this box and uh, throwing some stuff your way um, and uh, really kind of getting that southern brewing vibe up to Michigan uh, so you can have some more Cigar City, um, some Ballast Point, um, and in all kinds of different stuff. Maybe get you some some of this, some, some Good Gourd. Uh, I do have a, a few bottles laying around my house uh, of, this, of this Good Gourd. Un unopened, so um, you might find some of those coming your way, but thanks so much for the beer box. I'm probably gonna throw these in the fridge and uh, start drinking them pretty much immediately. Uh, so cheers to you and uh, beer meow and everything that you're doing. Love it, thanks man.